Valentines. Welcome back and thanks for popping in. Today we're going to do a little unboxing where I finish up my March boxes. I think I've got six things to share with you. I got to be really honest though, I am so tired. I don't know if the week leading up to Easter has been crazy where you are and where you work, but for me, it has been nutballs. My boss was on vacation. I was training a new manager. We got a massive truck in and when we get a truck in, we have to unload it from the semi get it in the store a bunch of stuff we have to build get it on the floor which usually means moving things around I had to go in on my day off because somebody was sick um but we were up 35 percent when i left today and i feel really accomplished but honestly all i want to do with you guys is just do a slow unboxing a lot of times i'm opening boxes a little bit faster to get through them and today i just kind of want to savor them so i hope that's okay with you guys as always if you like what you see please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up i would love to have you as part of my georgia sunshine family we have such a good time over here and i have to say if you comment in the comments thank you i look for the comments every single night and i don't get to respond to everybody but i do read them and so many of you make me laugh out loud or are just so sweet in your comments and i'm so thankful to you for that anyway let's go ahead and dive into the subscription boxes but i also have two boxes one i did a little online shopping that i would share that haul with you and then the other one i got a little pr package that we're going to discover sound good Hopefully it does. All right, the first box we're going to talk about, I haven't opened, I think, in two years on the channel. And I reached out to them and I'm like, hey, I want to bring you back on. And I'm so excited for them to be here. It is the Brown Paper Packages box. You going to sing the song? Brown Paper Packages Tied Up With String. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite things. Now, this box is uh, put out by the Hutch Sisters, which is a company out of, oh, Canada. It is $59.99 Canadian, but they do ship to the U.S. And with the exchange rate, it fluctuates just a little bit. But when I looked today, it was about $44.19 U.S. Now, I don't have a discount code for this box. They don't give me one. They never have. Um, but it is fun. And I really like this box. It's a lifestyle box. So you get some fashion, a snack, maybe some beauty or a, you know, a fun lifestyle item. And it only hits your credit card every other month. So this was their February and March box. This is what it looks like. Literally a brown paper package. All right. When we open it up. Ooh, this is what we see. That's very interesting, isn't it? Okay. Right off the top. Oh, it's tied up with string. Let's pull this out and see what this is. This is a Happy Home double-sided fabric placemat. I'm thinking the theme has got to be something about black. Oh, Midnight Express is the theme. Okay. Oh, this is really cute. Look at this. Okay, so one side's black and white and one side's white and black. This would be cute, like under a coffee bar, or if you just wanted to put this on your kitchen island and put a plant or something on it, or you're just having breakfast. It's just you. Isn't that adorable? It's got coffee and tea and little martinis and margaritas and all kinds of cute little yummy drinks. Okay, so that was the first thing in here. How fun for that to be on top. As I remember this box now, they usually did tie something on the front, which is great. All right, let me untie the string here. And then we're going to open. Midnight Express is right. Look at this, you guys. Everything inside is black, just about. So they always do this little pamphlet, and it's like a trifold, I think. Yes. We're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a free item. So nine items in here. All right, the first thing I see, what? is this very curious i like how they kind of bedazzled it <laughs> that's fun all right let's see what could this be i can't get it unboxed okay here we go what is this okay there are little okay these are chopsticks how pretty are these so we have two sets here nice and then inside 
I think this is like a little bowl for maybe soy sauce or wasabi. Let's look. <gasps> yes. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? That is perfect. Now I'm a dip girl. Are y'all a dip girl? I like some ranch dip. I like some cocktail sauce. I like dip, soy sauce, whatever. I use these type of bowls all the time, almost with every meal. Believe it or not though, I'm not a ketchup girl. I know. What's your favorite dip? Let me know in the comments down below. So we got the little um, chopsticks as well as the little bowl. Isn't that cute? I love the black and gold. That is really pretty. Okay, so let's see what it says about that guy. Mm, late night takeout. If takeout is your thing, these golden onyx chopsticks and dip bowl are a must have by a local Canadian distributor and they are a $15 value. I like how they're packaged too, how adorable. All right, the next thing we have looks like this. What a cute owl. I guess an owl makes sense for a Midnight Express, right? All right, so what do we have? Ooh, what is this? Ooh, it's a scarf with this owl scarf clip, which I guess makes sense now why they have a little owl sticker on here. So I guess this is a slide. You can slide it up and down on your scarves. Do you guys remember your grandmothers and great grandmothers having pins like this that were all bedazzled? I have a ton of my great grandmother's jewelry, but how cool that this is a little scarf clip and we have the little scarf in black and gray here. All right, let's read about that. It says the night owl scarf, this magnetic adjustable and removable owl adds a touch of whimsy and glamor to the evening shade scarf or anything else it can put its talons onto. So it's magnetic, hold on. All right, it looks like it comes in two pieces. Oh, it is magnetic, look at that. I wonder if you could put this on maybe the strap of a purse. Um, maybe even like if you've got a thick chain, you might be able to wear that as like a pendant on the chain if you take it off the scarf. That would be interesting. How fun is that? It says that that is an $18 value. It's also sourced from a Canadian distributor. All right, the next thing we have in here has a little bitty bear on it. Okay, this one's heavy. Ooh, ooh, we got a shower steamer and this is in relaxation. Yeah, it's very kind of lavender, calming. And then we got, what is this? It says this is a sleep aromatherapy candle and it's a little tiny candle. I love these for like my nightstand right here or even in the bathroom. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. Yes. Oh, it's so cute. It says well-being on it. You could turn it this way you want if you wanted. Oh, that's really nice too. Both of these smell spa-like. Lovely. Okay, what does it say about those? Um, the Chill Out Duo. It's a relaxing shower spritzer as well as a lavender sleep candle that will set up a calm and peaceful atmosphere. This definitely feels, smells calming. It smells just like a spa. So you can have a little spa in your own home. Okay, that was a $12 value. The next thing we have in here has a little shoe on it. I think it's so cute how they dress up each of the little bubble wrap bags. This one's kind of heavy too. Ooh, there's two things in here. Okay, we got an energizing shower steamer and a citrine candle. So this is probably more energizing. That smells good. This smells more like pepperminty. Ooh, that smells lovely. Okay, let's see what it says about this guy. Ooh, this has got a little, like a little rock in it or a little crystal. Ooh, it's a woodwick. Now the other one was not a woodwick. This smells so good. Yeah, it's very citrus, orange, lemon, and I love that it's got the little wood wick. So we've got the crackle and pop. That is the Let's Go Duo with an energizing shower spritzer and an energy candle is the answer to invigorating your senses and to boost your energy level. $12.
And it does say that the little spritzers or the shower steamers are made in Canada. Okay. <laughs> this box has some really interesting things in it. This is called the sponge bed. It's literally, I don't know if you can see it, the pillows and the little dust ruffle and the bed. It's for your sponge. All right, let's open this up and check it out. I think this might be our extra. Say nighty night to your kitchen work with this cute sponge bed holder. So this is kind of like a bonus kitschy sort of item. It actually does come with the sponge. <laughs> oh my goodness, is this hysterical. All right, let me take this off. So when you take it off, it really does look like a bed and your sponge just goes down in here. I like that this has slots in it where um, the water can go so it's not sitting in water and it can dry off. That is funny. Put your sponge to bed every night. And when you're done with this, you could give it to your daughter, your granddaughter. <laughs> she could put it in her dollhouse. I love it for her little dolls. Okay, that was kind of fun for just a bonus item, right? All right, the next item we have in here looks like this. All right, what could this be? It's a little tiny guy. What is it? Oh, this is a gel eyeliner. So I think it's a pot of gel eyeliner. All right, hold on, let's see. I'm assuming it has got to be black, right? That would only make sense for a Midnight Express box. This is by Stray Cat, which I believe is uh, vegan and cruelty free. So you dip your brush down in there. This may be the answer to my problems because I'm struggling with eyeliner drying out so quickly. So maybe if it's in a pot versus a pencil, I'm kind of interested in trying this. That might be the answer to my issues. $16, it says, give yourself the perfect cat eye with this luxurious gel eyeliner in noir. Waterproof and long lasting, this formula will not crease or smudge, glides on smoothly for precise application. It's paraben and fragrance free, made in Canada, and Stray Cat donates to animal charities. Nice, I love it brand that gives back. There's still quite a bit in here. All right, we've got this guy. There's some little bitty things in this box. What could this be, do you think? Oh, it's a pair of earrings. I think they're foxes. Hold on, we're gonna have to get a closer look at these. They look like a fox, but then they've got a little bushy tail. What are these? Okay, hold on. We got to read about these. Because I feel like that looks like the head of something, doesn't it? But then it's got the little dangle. What could this be? Fox. They are foxes. Fox earrings. Look foxy with these cute rhinestone earrings for our nocturnal subscribers. How hysterical is that? Yeah, they actually do have a little face. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera. But it's got its little face right here. And I guess this must be its bushy tail. How funny. Have y'all been with me since we had the family of foxes? Red-tailed foxes living in our backyard. We couldn't go out to the patio for a while because we had five baby foxes and a mama and a daddy living out there. How funny are those? I don't think unless you look really close, you would know that they're foxes. And this part is like a separate piece. So you could take this off if you just wanted a stud. All right. We've got this guy. So pretty. Kind of Northern S, Northern Lights S. All right. This looks like we're getting two things too. This is Deb's Wood Oven Pizza Gourmet Dip and seasoning mix. I love a seasoning mix. I'm just talking about loving dips. Deb's wood oven pizza dip. Oh, and there's a recipe for it. Yum. Okay, yum. That looks so good. It says dip instructions. Huh. 
And then we have a Gourmet Village Spicy Chicken Wing Seasoning. Now my boys love to make chicken wings and they do them in the air fryer. They're so good. So they're gonna be excited for this. How yummy. A lot of times we will get this Village Gourmet in this box. I'm remembering that now. Yum. Okay, so two fun spices. I think we've got one more thing in here. Looks like this. What is this? Hold on. Is it a scarf? Surely they didn't give us two scarves in the box. Oh wait, it's got a hole. You put your head through it? Oh, there's another hole. Okay, I think it's a vest. Yes, I see it now. Okay, so it's a vest. Let's go ahead and throw it on here. Put our arms through it. Yes, can you imagine this with just a little black, black tank top or even a white tank top? Some little shorts. It's so fun because it's got this fringe to it. Isn't that cute? This would be adorable as a bathing suit cover up too. Like if you just wanted to throw this on over your shoulders and put your shorts on if you're going to get a drink or go to the bathroom or whatever. Um, let's see what it says about that. Where did I put the paper? Um, the fringe vest, it is $24. It says drape yourself in our nightfall knitted flowing vest over your favorite outfit. It's from a local Canadian distributor. Neat. I think this box is interesting. I think it's unique. I don't see a lot of the same products that we get in other boxes. So if you want to check it out, you can use my link down below for brown paper packages. Again, I don't have a discount code, but I love supporting a small women run business. And like I said, it is from Canada. All right. The next box we're going to talk about is the Southern Fleek box. Now I've opened this one other time. It is a bath and shower type subscription box. Now, when I opened this the first time, a lot of you were telling me how much you loved it. I really liked the products inside. I've since used them. And you say that the variety of different products we get every time is really cool. Like we've gotten laundry detergent and things in the boxes. But I saw in the comments that a lot of you asked if they could do like a shower specific box. So I asked her and she said the answer is yes. So because this is an Etsy shop, you will order it and then there's a little like box, like a description box that you can tell if you want something specific, like I love shower steamers or I love bath bombs or I'm only looking for shower products. You can put that in there and she will make it work. And she actually put a sticker on here that says it is the shower box. Now you get about six items in this box and it is $49.99. She did give me a discount code for 10% off if you're interested. The box is very cute. It smells really good. So let's see what's inside. She does do a theme every month. This one is your Berry Sweet. Now I will tell you this was the February box. I got it a little bit late and so I'm just now opening it. But in this February box, there's one, two, three, four, five, six items plus a bonus item. So seven, look at this adorable tissue paper with the strawberries. It kind of smells like my childhood. You remember the strawberry shortcake doll? That's what it's giving. Okay, so you gotta see the top of this. Do you see the little strawberry right here? This says Southern Fleek Bath. And it's a little strawberry bag. It's got a pull right here. Let's see what's inside. There's a little strawberry candy. Do you guys remember these? I forgot all about these strawberry candies. These are so good. Is this like a shower cap? Oh, I think it's a reusable bag. How adorable. So you can just fold it back up into the strawberry, but it's a reusable bag. I love these. I throw them into my um, glove box in my car pretty often. And they're usually, you can just like, shove them back in like this. Just keep pulling them back in with your fingers and then you just pull back. Now, is it as perfect as it was before? Maybe not. Pretty close though. And there's your little bag. I love that we got something kind of not bath and body in there, something extra. All right, so the first thing I see in here is something huge. Now she does use all natural ingredients, all natural fragrances, everything is skin safe which I appreciate. 
And this is a strawberry cheesecake body wash. Uh, yes, please. Let's give this a smell. This is not what I thought it was gonna smell like. What does this bottle look like to you? Does it look like Pepto-Bismol? Just a little bit, it's the color. So I was thinking it was gonna give that like pepperminty scent until I put my nose up to it, even though I read strawberry cheesecake. It smells exactly like strawberry cheesecake. Creamy and yummy. Okay, fun. The next thing we have in here, oh, look at this. It's a shower balm or a shower steamer. That is the prettiest shower steamer I have ever seen. How much time did she take to make this? Even the little seeds. This is beautiful. Oh my gracious. Okay. Then we got, I think another one. This is a sh strawberry shave bar. So you rub this over your legs when you go to shave. I love that idea. And it has just a barely a curve so you can just run it over your leg and it gets all the spots I'm rubbing it, rubbing it over my arm but you see what I mean and then you just shave that's pretty too it even has the little seeds in it oh this is a cool one I'm glad you guys asked to see a shower box okay then we have something else in here and I think if you ask for like specific things if they don't fit in the theme She'll still try to add them in. Like maybe this isn't like strawberry themed. It's just kind of a cube. But this is the Berry Bubbly Fleek Bath Bar. So she did add a little bath item in here just so you could kind of see what it looks like. But again, I always say if you're not gonna use these in the bathtub, just get yourself a Rubbermaid tub, a bucket, put some hot water in it, break this in half, soak your feet in it and have just a, a nice little self-care afternoon. Okay, we got a raspberry vanilla whip soap. Whip soaps are also really, really good to shave with. And it's just a different form of a soap. You know, you can have liquid soaps and bar soaps. These are just more whipped like that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, that smells good. Raspberry vanilla, yum. All right. So how many is that so far? One, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, because we got the bag. This is a blueberry, ooh, sugar scrub. Look at the blueberry in the middle. I'm sure that's like a piece of soap. This is my favorite. This right here, blueberry sugar scrub. Now, I've never tried their sugar scrub before, so I'm excited to try it, but again, it's whipped. So you can just kind of, uh, pull it out with your hand, scoop it out, and then just rub it all over your body. Especially, it's getting to be like self-tanner time. It's always nice to do an exfoliation before you do that. So thank you to Southern Fleek for sending that over. If you want to check them out, again, they're a small women-run business over on Etsy, and I have that discount code for 10% off. I mean, this is a work of art. I don't even want to put this in the shower. I will. Trust me. But it's so pretty, isn't it? I love it. Okay. All right. We're going to get out of the subscription boxes for a minute. Tarte is doing 30% off. So I did a little shopping. I had a question the other day asking if I was going to do any more hauls. I haven't done hauls in a while. And since I bought this, I thought I would just add it in and give you my little Tarte haul. So I'll put my link down below in case you want to check out the 30% off sale. I bought a bunch of, I think, lip products. I haven't even opened it yet. I like Tarte's eyeshadow. I like their lip products a lot. I like some of their facial products. I gotta tell you, their foundations to me, I can't seem to make them look right on my skin tones. Um, but I bought several goodies. Now, these are my favorite thing from Tarte. These are the Maracuja Juicy Lip Sticks. Now they have the lip glosses and the lip balms. Those are beautiful, but I highly recommend the lip sticks because they have a little bit more color and a little bit more staying power. Now, if you want just really balmy, beautiful lips with just a hint of color, go with the lip balms. Um, but um, on 
30% off. These are a really, really good deal. Now this is a little bright. We'll see if I like that color. This was a new color for me, which I've never bought before. It's called Pinky Coral. Um, this one is Orchid, which I wear a lot. This one is Hibiscus, which I wear a lot. And this one is Pink Passion. Let's try this one on. I'll show you what they look like. Now, I will say these are a little bit more of a balmy lipstick. So it's not going to be a long, long wear lipstick like you would get um, with a matte. But it looks like that. I can always find them in my purse because they're like that nice, bright gold. Oh, my gosh. These feel so creamy and buttery. It's like a lip gloss but it gives you that nice color. So that was the, uh, what was this one? Hold on. This one was the Pink Passion. That's pretty. So I love these for my purses. I usually have one in my makeup bag over here. I might have one in my car, one in my purse. So those are the colors that I grabbed. Can't speak highly enough about these. Get the lipsticks. Then I ended up getting, I think this might have been a little freebie. Usually you get a freebie if you spend so much on Tarte. So I got the Shape Tape Stay Spray. Okay, so you just spray this on after you um, put your makeup on. Helps to set your makeup. Ooh, I like the spray. Mm. They used to have a Maracuja setting spray, which I love, but they discontinued that. That's actually really nice. The spray is lovely. All right. So I like that. And then what was the other thing I got? This is the Park Avenue Princess Gradual Self Tanning Drops. Okay, so I had never tried these before. You mix these in with your foundation. So they look like this. So, you, or not your foundation, your moisturizer. Put a little moisturizer in your hand, add a drop or two of these and kind of mix it up and then put them on your face. And then after you're done, you're gonna to wanna to wash your hands. So you can just drop a couple of these and it just gives you a nice kind of a glow. You don't look orange, you just get a little bit of a glow. And the more you do it, like if you do it two or three days, it's gonna get a little darker every single day and you just stop when it's the perfect shade for you. I had never tried this before. I like self tanning gradual drops. So I wanted to give those a go. So just FYI, if you like anything from Tarte, you want a pretty eyeshadow palette. They have gorgeous palettes. And like I said, that's what I use. But the Maracuja Juicy Lipsticks, those are my die hard. I love them so much. So I'll put the link down below in case you want to go over there and shop the Tarte sale. Okay, let's keep on keeping on. The next box we are going to talk about is Universal Yums. I haven't done a Universal Yums video in quite a while. Um, Universal Yums is an international snack subscription box. So every month they take a country or a region and they theme out the box based on that. You can get salty snacks and you can get sweet snacks. Now there's a couple of ways you can subscribe to this box. They have a box with five to seven snacks for $18. They have a box with 10 to 12 snacks for $29, or they have a box with 15 to 18 snacks, that's a lot of snacks if you've got a big family, for $45. Now I always say, if you've got like maybe someone that's moved into the dorm this year and you wanna get them a little happy, this would be a great box. If you've got teens or preteens, you're not sure what to send them for their birthday, this is really fun. If you wanna get a gift for a whole family, cause my whole family for years and years and years has loved this box, we would sit around the table have a game night, and then we would pop this open and try everything. Some snacks everybody's going to like, some snacks some people are not going to like, and others will because obviously you're trying things from different countries that you've never tried before. But it's just such a fun subscription box. I think if you're a homeschool mama, I've always said this, and you're doing like a geography um, curriculum, this would be fun to pop out and just make it really fun and interesting. I haven't even slit the tape for this one. So let's see where we are going this time. Ooh, the Ukraine. And the Universal Yums team actually goes over to the countries. They ask questions. They give you some history and trivia about each of the items. So we get a little map. It tells where some of these snacks are from. So we learn about the countries. You have a scoreboard. 
so you can kind of score the snacks. And then this little booklet is done so well. Inside, there's those games, there's trivia, there's all the nutritional information because obviously some of the snacks you're not going to be able to read because they're in another language. But it tells a little bit about them. It gives you recipes and all kinds of just interesting things in here. This is a really done well. Then you get a little passport sticker that you can keep. So that's kind of interesting too, if you're doing a curriculum, it's got their flag and things like that on there. And then here is our box. Now I was noticing when you go to sign up for this box, a lot of boxes have three different countries that you can pick from in terms of your first box. I know one was Spain, I think there was the Baltics, and I can't remember the third one. Um, so that's kind of neat too, that you can kind of pick which country you want to start with. So the first thing we have is called Bonnie Fruit, and this is a summer mix with 25% juice. Are these like those jelly candies? I feel like they might be. Now, because this is a snack box, I am gonna try a few of the snacks. I won't try them all, but just FYI. So this is what they look like. They're all in the shape of different fruits. They have like a little bit, I don't know if this is sugar or if it's like sour. You think that's watermelon maybe? Let's see. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. That might be the best watermelon candy. My mouth is watering that I've ever had. Better than a rat a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Hmm. I don't know if you can see, but that looks like cherries. There they are. How cool. There's oranges. There's pineapples. Peaches. That is really, really good. Another thing I like about Universal Yums is if you find something that you like, a lot of times you cannot rebuy it here in the U.S. I've even checked like Amazon and things. You can go on over to the Universal Yums shop and you can buy more again of whatever you like. I've done that so many times. All right, we have a homemade bread chip. Yum. Okay, so this is what that looks like. I just wanna, that's something kind of new. Kind of looks like a pita chip. Let's read about this for a minute. I am intrigued. Okay, it says, Fried rye chips with Adagica seasoning. Many countries have a favorite condiment. The U.S. has ketchup, Italy has pesto, Mexico has salsa, and the Ukraine, they have Adjika. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This mildly spicy sauce is made with carrots, tomatoes, garlic, and chili pepper and serves as an accompaniment to, well, pretty much anything. It's slathered on bread, poured into soup, drizzled atop vegetables, mixed with scrambled eggs, and most commonly paired with meat. So this homemade bread chip has that seasoning on it. So it's a great way to try like different things. Okay, we have a sponge cake. This is made with condensed milk. Now I gotta tell you, if you're thinking about joining Universal Yums, this is the perfect time to do it because you can still get chocolate. When it kind of goes into some of the summer months, the chocolate sometimes will go away because it will melt as they're shipping it. So you can still get like nice chocolate bars and things in these boxes. I'm gonna look at that sponge cake. It says, um, sometimes sweet things can come out of a really dark time. This yum is proof. After World War II, Ukraine faced food shortages and forced folks to get creative in the kitchen, especially for dessert, which is where sweetened condensed milk came in handy. Locals use it to stick together bits of leftover baked goods, making simple no-bake cakes. So you see what I mean? You get a little history with all of them. Okay, we have these yummy rolls. These look good. They look like they're cream filled kind of cookies. All right, so those, I gotta tell you, these Bonnie Fruits, that watermelon is still in my mouth and it still tastes so good. So these are called Delica Rolled with Baked Milk. It's Ukraine's eight hour milk. Preservation pros don't just stop at fruit. 
Stalwart Ukrainians also had to solve dairy's annoying tendency to spoil fast. Their solution, baked milk, a delicacy common used for breakfast drink. Milk is slowly heated for eight hours, creating a chemical reaction in the naturally occurring amino acids and sugars that turn dairy into a creamy, caramelly sensation. These crisp, crisp wafers are rolled and filled to the brim. Yum. Look at those. Doesn't that look good? And that's a big pack. You're going to get a ton of wafers in here. Yum. Okay, that sounds delightful. Okay, this is called the Big Bar. It's a chocolatey coated wafer bar with almonds. Uh, yes, please. Look at that guy. Eat 11 layers of dark chocolate, almonds, and wafers. Yum. All right, the next thing we got is a crostata with black currant. Look at that guy. This is very delicious fruit in a crumbly cookie crust. Now, if you're not a chocolatey girl like I do not love chocolate, I like it, but I would rather have something fruit and cookie. This is me in a cookie. Yum. Okay, we have a bubble caramel chocolate. Look at that, that's a nice baked chocolate bar too. Okay, it says an aerated caramel and white chocolate bar, one of the world's largest confectionaries and biggest in Ukraine. Roshan produces 450,000 tons of treats every year from chocolates to caramels to jellies to biscuits and to cakes. Yum. Okay. Now, this is my son's absolute favorite thing. It's the yum bag. We get them in probably 75 to 80% of the boxes. And this is a way where we can try a bunch of treats all together. Like they won't give us an entire bag of individual candies, but we'll get two or three candies of a lot of different like flavors. So in here, we've got one, two, three, four of whatever this is. It's called the Chewing Sweets. <laughs> the Chewing Sweets. And look at that little monster with his mouth open. Is this going to be like um, something spicy or sour? It says soft candy with a bubblegum flavor. Bubblegum candy probably isn't what you expect when you think of Ukrainian sweets. Interesting. And it says you can read more about these in the first couple pages of the booklet. So we got four of those. And then we have four of these guys. These are called glazed sweets. They're chocolatey bites with a creamy lemon filling. Okay, now chocolate and lemon. There's four of these. I gotta try that because that's not a flavor combination I would have put together, but I love both of those, chocolate and lemon. Oh, yes. Mmm. That may be my new favorite combination. It's almost like a Russell Stover's when you get that mixed box of Russell Stover's like your mom got for Mother's Day a long time ago. And you got all the interesting flavor combinations. That is good. That's real good. No, we're still going. The next thing is the Choco Shocks. These are a chocolatey covered wafer bar with cookie crumble. Yum, yum, yum. That looks delish. Everything in this box looks delish. I will say there are some boxes that are like more salty heavy, more sweet heavy. Some I like more than others. This one, Ukraine. If you can start with the Ukraine, this one might be the one to start with. The more we travel the world on this snack adventure, the easier it is to notice that some yarms are well universal case in point cookies and cream here ukraine's take on it is a smooth vanilla cream flecked with cookie pieces smeared over a wafer and then smothered in chocolate you've never had cookies and cream like this before or at least we haven't and then last but not least we got golden chips these are potato snacks with wasabi i think my boys are going to be fighting over these we love wasabi in this house i do too I bet with some like smoked Gouda cheese, I bet these would be good. All right, so that is our Universal Yums 
box. This is the Ukraine box. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the link below. I can't stress enough how fun this box is, whether you live by yourself or with a big family, whether you want to send it to, you know, a young person that's just buying their first house or maybe in the dorm. I think anybody who gets this box is really going to enjoy it. It is just so, so fun. All right. The next thing we have in here is our Centibration box. This is $34.95, and inside of here, you're going to get two 16-ounce candles, which I have to say, a lot of candle boxes only give you 8-ounce candles. These give you 16 ounces, plus you get two wax melt bars and then a bonus item occasionally. Now, I do have a discount code for 50% off your first box. That is a huge, huge chunk. This is by the Wix Wax Candle Company. They do have a subscription where you can just get a candle if you're into that, but I really like this one because you get a little bit of everything. The wax melts, the candles, sometimes a little surprise. I didn't slit the tape on this one very well. Well, hold on. All right, so this is what this looks like. Um, this is my monthly wax melt box. Okay, so I'm not opening their big box this time. I'm opening their wax melt box. This is new. I haven't opened it before. So she says it's $19.95 plus shipping. You get to choose a scent family for your box. You can either choose fruit and sweet, clean and fresh, or a variety. I sent the variety box to you. Oh, neat. Okay, so they do have this integration box, which is $34.95, two candles, two wax melts with an extra, or you can get the candle box, but this is just their wax melt box. I didn't realize they did this. Look at the cute Easter tissue. So this one's $19.99. I do believe my code still works to get 50% off your first box if you wanna do this one too. I think it works for any of their subscriptions. Look how adorable this is. In wax melts, she spilled, spelled out Happy Easter. So each one of these letters is a wax melt. Oh, how fun is that? That smells so good. I'm trying to see what the scent of this is. It's very fresh and clean, but it's got a little bit of a like a little bit of a floral. This is nice. I just bought a new wax melter. So I'm excited to use it. All right, then we got a Marshmallow Peeps. Are these in the shape of little peeps? Let's look. How cute is this little bag? I love how creative these box owners get when they're packaging their stuff. Oh, they're little eggs. They're little decorated egg wax melts in a marshmallow. They smell a little bit, gosh, that scent is so familiar. It's got something else to it. Oh, that smells so good. It, it does smell a little sweet, but not like overly. And you get a whole little bag of those in here. Holy cow, for $19.99, y'all, we're not even done yet. This is Wax Melt Dots. Wow, look at that. Looks like there's two scents in here, although they don't tell me what scents they are, which is a little interesting. Ooh. Ooh, that smells good. It kind of smells like fresh buttered popcorn. I'm shooting in the dark here. They smell really good, but there's two different scents in here. So you get the little beads. Okay, we have a wax bark. This is in black jelly beans. So licorice, I guess. Oh yeah, licorice. I don't know if I love this one. Tell me in the comments, are you a licorice girl? I feel like it's very polarizing. It's kind of going to be like that gnome question I asked not too long ago. Do you like licorice or not? I'm on the no on that one. But if you do, you'll like this. All right, then we have the clamshell snuggle bunny. That's what this scent is. Wow, you got a lot in here. We're not done. We're not done. Oh, that smells really clean too. I like her wax melt scents. They're very clean and they're not overpowering. Like I don't, I don't get a headache from her candles. 
That's really beautiful too. And then we got a fruit salsa clamshell and this is a big one. So you just break these off into your wax melt or your lamp, whatever you've got. Ooh, that smells good too. Fruit salsa, it is fruity. Ooh, that's fun. It's like all the fruits, like berries and melons and gosh, for $19.99, we got this huge clamshell. We got this little clamshell. We got this guy. We got this huge container. Do you know how long these will last? We got these. And we got this huge Happy Easter wax melt. You get a ton in here for $19.99. Like, I feel like this is even better than like Walmart. You got a lot of bang for your buck in here. I'm kind of shocked and I'm happy that she sent this because I had no idea you got this much in here. So if you want to check out the Wix Wax Wax Box, you can use my discount code for 50% off. But remember, they have a candle box and they have their Scentibration box, which has a little bit of candles and wax melts and things in them. So thank you to Wix Wax for sending that over to Amy. And I have one more thing, y'all. Sometimes I get like these messages on Instagram or I'll get a message on my email and I'm like, is this a scam? Because... I open subscription boxes, but then companies sometimes reach out to me like Murad and they're like, Hey, can we, we send you a box of PR? And I'm like, me, you, Murad wants to send me something. Yes, please. <laughs> um, and so this is some kind of retinol lifting serum I it felt like it it was for my age group so I figured y'all would want to see it too so I'm just going to share it with you I'm going to try it out and let you know um what I think I do have a video coming up I don't know when but it's going to be um products that have been sent to me products I've bought that I don't like that I do like and some opinions I hope that's a video maybe you want to see but I don't know how I got on the mirror and PR list but here we are so we're going to check it out. I also got an email from Jones Road. Do y'all know that company? It's put out by Bobby Brown. And they have this like, I can't exactly remember what they call it, but they're all over Instagram on ads. And it's like a balm that you put on and it's for ladies of a certain age. And it's makes your skin look really hydrated and glowy, but it's not supposed to settle into your fine lines and wrinkles. I've been wondering about it. And they reached out and said, can we send you some? And I was like, uh, yes, you can. So we'll be looking at that too. Maybe that'll make it into the next video. But when I take off the lid, this is what it is. Okay, so we got a Murad. Fun. <laughs> this is their Resurgence Retinol Resculpt Eye Treatment. And I'm telling you, I don't think the package is showing or the camera's doing it justice. This is super heavy. <laughs> it's a glass package. It's a cream. And then around the box, it kind of tells you all about the product. So this says it works like an eye lift in a jar. I'll let you know. <laughs> um, it says it's got gentian root extract and oat sugar extract that amplify the retinol's benefits, especially on droopy eyelids and folds to lift firm and tighten and it's ophthalmologist tested okay that sounds pretty exciting all right the next thing they said okay so the, it says for a nighttime lift so you put this on at night and it says this is for a daytime lift this is the murad resurgence retinol resculpt overnight treatment so maybe this is the day and this is the night overnight treatment okay let's see what it says about this this says it works like a facelift in a bottle it does show like somebody's neck going from saggy to a little tighter it says kangaroo paw flower and olive leaf extract improve sagging and smooth wrinkles while oat lipids and alpha glucon <laughs> replenish ceramides and increase moisture. It says use PM after cleansing, apply a thin layer to the face and neck. Okay, I see what they did. These are both nighttime items. They both have a retinol in them. So you want to start out real slow with these and do it every few days and then you can kind of work your way up. 
the packaging on this, it's nice, y'all. I want to kind of see what this looks like. Okay, looks like that. No scent, which is good. Ooh, it feels really interesting. It doesn't feel like, I guess maybe that's the retinol in it. I don't use a lot of retinols, to be honest, and I need to. I like the consistency. It almost, it almost has a texture. It's not completely smooth, but when it goes on your skin, it's smooth. I'm curious. I'm intrigued. That's nice. And then this is for the daytime lift. They sent me a Midori Spring Gold Class Matcha. So I can make a matcha tea. Oh, how cute. It comes like a little can. But yeah, it's a powder. So that's for my daytime lift. Need a little extra energy. All right. So I will try this out and see what I think. And I hopefully it will be in that video where I talk about like things I like and things that I don't like. Um, and I have some things that were sent to me in PR that I'm like, mm -mm, don't bother with this. <laughs> So stay tuned for that. It might be another month or so because I'm still trying things out. But I get stuff all the time and it just doesn't feel like it really works for my content because I'm an unboxing channel. But I thought maybe you guys would like that. So thank you to Mur Murad for sending that over. And that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will put all the links down below as well as the 30% off um, link for Tarte in case you want to go over and shop it. I'll see you soon for another video, guys. Thanks for stopping in. Bye-bye.